All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to split your models on a curved surface and adding lips to them so that when you assemble them, they're going to assemble properly, right? Like this. I'm going to teach you guys how to do that. And you guys can cut it on curved lines like so but before we start i want to invite everybody to my one hour free workshop on three modeling for blender blender see look you guys it's just one hour it's free if you guys like it let me know but link for that is in the description below all right all right let's move on to the tutorial okay guys so uncle jesse good old uncle jesse has asked um for a video where can we cut the armor pieces or whatever piece in um, curved shapes? Well, the answer to that, long answer to that, or short, sorry, short answer for that is yes. All right, so what I have here, if you, so if you haven't watched my first video about it, how to cut your 3D models, the link for that is up here, uh, should be popping up now. And we're basically gonna be doing the same exact thing for this. So this is a plane that I have extruded out along certain points Okay, let me turn this off real quick. So what I wanted to do, first of all, and what you want to do is, again, study the seams where you want to cut the model. Reason for that is we want to cut it on those seams so that when we put the pieces together, we can hide it easier with the seams, right? So when we glue it together, we don't have to fill anything because it's already cut. There, there was supposed to be a seam there anyway. You know what I mean? So, and as an example, right, so we took a plane, you just press shift A, mesh, you add a plane, and then you add the following um, modifier. So you go to your blue wrench here, you add a uh, subsurf modifier, right, a subdivision surface modifier, and I cranked it up to five, and I'll tell you why here in a little bit. And then I added a <clears throat> solidify modifier. And I just made it really, really thin so that I don't take up and I don't, you know, separate too much of the model. Okay. Now, this has to be in order. It has to be subsurf first and then solidify. Because if you do that, look at what happens. I mean, there's not much of a change, but I just like to do the subsurf first and then the solidify. That way, um, I keep my shape. Anyway, so. After we have those, we're going to apply those modifiers, okay? And then we're going to do click on the plane first, shift click on the main model, and then under bool tool, we're going to select difference just like the first time, okay? And it should be separating it. There we go. All right. So now we're going to take this, we're going to press P. Oh, sorry, we're going to go to uh, edit mode first. Then we're going to press P as in Papa. And we're going to separate by loose parts. And that should separate now this part from this part. And as you guys can see, it didn't cut just on one straight plane or even just, you know, straight lines. It curves back here, okay? I even did it so that it cut on the curve around the back, um, where are we, around the back where it, it goes to the rear there, okay? So again, we're going to click the plane first, the part that's going to be subtracted, shift click on the main object, and then we're going to do difference on the auto boolean. Then it's going to cut it. Okay, now while clicking on the main part, we're going to press tab. Then we're going to press P as in Papa. And we're going to separate by loose parts. And what that does that now is it separates all of this. Now the reason why my colors are, of, are such, because I went here to the viewport shading. And under color, I clicked random. So that each object that I have is a different color. Okay, so now I have all these different parts of the model. Now, bonus part, okay? Say you wanna put this together, okay? What you can do, 
right? Is what are we doing here? All right. So what we can do. Oh, it's not doing it. Okay. Is we want to we can put a lip here, right? So what we're gonna do is we are going to add a mesh. Sorry, yeah, I add mesh and we're gonna add a cube. And we're gonna just press S to scale that cube and press S on the X. Let me turn on my screencast so you guys can see. There we go. So now what we can do is we can when we turn on my gizmo, that makes it so much easier. Okay, we can add a lip to here so that um, there's a, uh, what is that word I'm looking for? So you can assemble it easier. <laughs> there you go. All right. So you can add that um, either there. Uh, what we want to do is actually make it thinner. So we're going to press S and Y. Okay. And then we're going to go up here. Let's turn off this guy real quick. And then we're going to take this. We're just going to rotate like such. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it in so that it's intersecting with the model. Okay. And then we're going to do the same. We're going to shift D and we're going to put it right next to each other like this. Okay. Then we're going to turn this back on. Now what you're going to do is you're going to have this attach. Uh, let's move it up a little bit. Okay. So what we want to do is we're going to Boolean this part and this one. Okay. So that we're going to press N again and we're going to go to edit and we're going to do a Boolean union on that. But there's a problem. This doesn't have very many sides. This doesn't have very many polys. So we want to take this and we're going to give it a uh, subsurf. We're going to give it about five or six levels. Then we're just going to reshape it as such. Okay, this one also. The reason why I'm doing this is because if I don't, the Boolean is not going to act right. It needs um, more polygons so that it does um, it does the function. Otherwise, it's going to crap out and it's going to not function properly. So as you guys can see, there's still a little bit of a gap there. I'm just going to, uh, that should be fine. You don't want to have too small of a gap anyway. There we go. All right, so I'm going to take this, right, the top helmet, which is highlighted, shift, click on this. They're going to press N, and then we're going to do a Boolean union. And they should be together as one. And now we're going to take this bottom one, shift click this other one right because we're going to be putting that together and then we're going to do a boolean union on that and now when you take this and you assemble it it lines up like so bang there you go all right so that's how you do your um splitting on curved spaces with lips Catch you guys later.